Welcome everyone to the Tuesday Night Rewind broadcast. Grim Grinning Ghost and I, Burnt Guy, will be highlighting one of the heat races from Tuesday evening. And this heat we're going to highlight tonight is the third of the evening with the inverted grid. So, Grim, did you have fun the other night? Uh, last night was an absolute blast. So it was uh, some very tight racing that we had last uh, the other night. Yeah, it was. Uh, and this track, you, some some either love it or hate it, you know? Yeah. I'm one of those guys that uh, could do without it. Um, there's It's definitely some technical corners um, that I struggled with all night long until probably until this race. Um, but, it, yeah, it's definitely a love-hate uh, relationship, especially for me. What about yourself? Yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I, I think... Uh, <laughs> I think that uh, we, uh, you have to be really good with the brakes. Yeah. If if you're really good at coming in, and and hitting your marks really well, you can you can do good at this track. And me and brakes, <laughs> we don't get along. Yeah. What can you say? But uh, no, this was a we had another strong field of sixteen drivers this week. Um, uh, we had uh, three new drivers. Uh, RKZ JB04 is uh, new to the new to the series, uh, so we'd like to welcome him. Also, One Space uh, is also a new driver, and then a driver that has uh, actually been a part of our uh, Wednesday night series. This was his first night on the uh, Tuesday night, and that is Double Pass. So it was good to have uh, three new faces. Um, we still had what 13 drivers that uh, returned from last week. So once again, we had a nice uh, strong field of 16. Yeah, and uh, the racing was awesome all night. Yes, it was. It, it was just totally awesome, and the tire compounds made it <laughs> made it so interesting. Once again, you have the the race softs and uh, race mediums that, or sorry, race hards. I'm sorry. I wish you could run the race mediums after last week. I was totally <laughs> abusing my race hards consistently. It would have been nice to have a little bit more tire, but. Uh, um, this particular race being the third race of the night, we had uh, people running on both compounds, so it should be interesting. Okay, are we ready to get this ball rolling here? I think so. Okay, we'll get it started. Well, since we're on one space, we might as well uh, watch him and see how he does through the first turn, eh? This was a good uh, good first turn. Uh, we got through the field fairly cleanly. Uh, I think uh, one driver may have uh, gotten a little bit out of uh, turn, but everyone showed a lot of patience going uh, too wide through the first turn. As you can see up in the graphic, it was a pretty tight field. Yeah, really tight. I, I don't think anybody got out of sorts at all in no, that uh, first turn. Z got a little bit out of sorts, but he didn't lose too much position. I think he lost uh, maybe three or two or three spots, but he was able to get right back in line. It wasn't anything that happened. Uh, it looks like he just went a little bit hot into the corner. This was a tricky corner going into. Um, you had to be either protect your line by staying close to the inside line, but actually the preferred line was actually going a little bit wide, sort of diamonding off the, uh, the turn so you can get on the accelerator. That was one of the things that I learned after following Z for two, the first two races. I was constantly taking that corner wrong and watching him constantly pull away. And it took two races and, uh, what, 20, what was it, 17 laps, I think. So 34 laps before I finally got it through my head that I was doing it wrong. So, yeah, I'm not the quickest learner. <laughs> and, and I've never figured out how to do it right myself. <laughs> well, this car does not, you want to get it slowed down, get the car turned, and then get back on the accelerator as straight as possible. Um, that way you're not spinning those front tires and abusing them. But here you can see everyone's pretty much settled in um, to uh, some nice uh, uh, line uh, racing, everyone trying to get into a uh, rhythm at this point. Looks like uh, looks like KG is making a move on uh, Simtors and makes the pass nice and cleanly. And this was, this track had two really good passing spots. Um, obviously, the, with the long straightaway, um, you can really set up somebody going into turn one without too much fuss. 
Um, the other good spot was on the back stretch. It was a little bit tighter because you had to have um, come off of, uh, what would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, out of turn eight, pretty uh, straight to get a good run on it and then setting up uh, right before the chicane. That one was a little bit more dangerous because the guy on the that you'd be racing with could make it real difficult and then trying to go through the chicane side by side would not be fun. Uh, it looks like the top three guys have, uh, looks like there's probably two groups. You've got uh, first, second, and third that have separated themselves, followed by fourth, fifth, and sixth, uh, and then the rest of the field. And top four right there are really fighting it out, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they are. Fallen, one space, Grandpa. Grandpa's, Grandpa's and, money has been impressive. Yeah. Well, oh, and tap outs right there, so this should be interesting coming out of... Uh, the corner, look, 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 if you got look, a good draft on it. You can tap out. He, he just all over that bumper. Oh, it looks like there's two passes going on. Oh. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, but he's... Uh, oh, Grandpa uh, was going to make him work for it. He gave him just yeah. enough. <laughs> yeah. He, he let him have it if he could do it. He, yep. he did it. I don't know how he did it, but he did it. This was another spot that if you could make that, uh, hold that line out of that corner, it could set up for this breaking point. Looks like uh, Tapout just didn't quite have uh, the run that he needed. And my guess is that all four of those guys are on race softs. Possibly oh, even sure the, uh, the next three. Looking at the, uh, the, the grid spacing on where everybody at. It looks like the top seven might be running all running on race offs at this point. Yeah, I would imagine. That. Yep. But yeah, one space is all over Fallen Log at this point. Let's see how they get to the chicane. Nope, still holding in line. You pretty much had to go get oh, in line. At, no. oh. Yeah, you pretty much had to get in line and then hopefully you can get to the chicane quickly. It's Boy, tight. here you, you could lose positions. This track, you could yes. really lose positions trying to pass somebody. Yes. Yes, you can. It was, it was so hard to to figure out where to pass them, and then if you took oh, took the oh. wrong inside or took the wrong outside. Three wide going else. into turn one. Oh, mm. a little bit of looks like uh, looks like one space got a little bit uh, fought that corner off really hard on that one. And they're still going at it side by side. Wow. Now, if Tap Out can hold the line, he should have the preferred line coming out of that sequence. Coming up to the next left-hander. No, one space still held it. Got a good Man. acceleration out of it. Yeah, he did. Well, he's hanging tough. Yep. You know, Tap Out. And then Fallen and Grandpa pressure. are just right there. They are. <laughs> yeah, they, I mean, Tap Out's putting a lot of pressure on him, but those guys are right there. Yep. That's what I say. If you get out of whack at all, boy, you can lose five, six positions very quickly. Yeah. Looks like UKG and Double Pass are in a uh, tight little battle themselves. Oh, he was all over me, man. Yep, and there's KG. Yeah, he's he's fun to race with. Boy, him and Double yep. Pass, man. Uh oh. Yeah, I know. I can't believe he held uh, on to uh, it. Uh, Did you see how he held on to that? <laughs> well, this car can go. You can hit the dirt with this one being all-wheel drive. This one you can uh, get a little bit off. You lose a little bit of time, but um, it's a little bit more recoverable if you dip a couple tires off. Man, he got into that corner hot. Yeah, he goes way deep into it. Yep. But look at the tire wear. It's five laps, and tire wears are already down to uh, fives. Yeah. Um, race softs probably only lasted about seven laps uh, in this particular uh, track. Yeah, it was brutal. It chewed on them. Yep. And early reports are saying that next week's track is going to be very similar. But <laughs> we knew that going into it. We knew it, well, you're yeah. not going to be able to run a whole lot of laps on this set of tires yeah yeah that's but, what makes it interesting yep but yeah having the, the, the option having options 
indeed. The first eight guys are definitely on race offs at this point. And so they're just trying to check out and get as far as they can. Um, towards the back, you've got uh, Vovic, who started last in the field. He's now moved up to ninth. Uh, I started uh, third, uh, what, 14th. I've moved up to 11th. Um, and Z has also been moving up. So it's tough. Uh, I believe all three of us, Bovic, Z, and myself, we were all on race hard. So we're trying to make our way through the field on race hards, uh, mainly because we had to use race offs the first two races. So we had no choice but to uh, start the race on uh, race hards this time. Well, if you were doing good, you wanted to, especially in the second race, because you want, because it was inverted grid. So yeah. it made sense, you know, if you have to start in the back, you might as well and you have to run a different compound, a perfect time to get them race hards on and get that done. Yep. Yeah, because you're not going to be able to get through traffic. You'll be chewing up your tire uh, sauce. At least my train of thought, anyways, is, is if I'm starting towards the front, I'll race softs. And if I'm starting towards the back, I'll start on race hards and just well, kind of bide my way through traffic if I can. And I hope that I have, that I'm still in contact with those that are in front. But yeah, you're losing a lot of time at this point. Let's go up here up front and see how this little battle's going. Looks like one space and tap out are still uh, one, two. They've spread out a little bit more, so they've gotten into a rhythm. Tires are probably taking a toll on it. And looking at yeah, one look space's at tires, he's five. down to three and five. Wow. Yeah, it's, it starts to get ugly about this point. Yep, and he's going to go one more lap. Yeah, pitting, pitting now. Oh, Fallen Log has just started into the pit, so it looks like. Yep, Fallen Log is in. It'll be interesting to see how many others that are on softs. This is about the time when people are taking in, taking on tires that are on race softs. Mm -hmm. uh, most of, I would be surprised. Uh, oh, you guys are on hard since yep. far. So yeah. this is where we start seeing positions changing rapidly, especially next next lap when uh, all the race softs will be in. I would imagine just about everybody that's on softs will be in either this coming lap, lap seven, or, or lap eight. It'll be interesting to see who doesn't pit on lap eight. There's Z and Centaurs. Now, how many, since you were running uh, hards the first stint, how many minutes did you think you wanted to go on them? My target lap was lap 10. Um, that would put me at about the 15 minute mark. So I yeah. I wasn't so much looking at uh, during my testing. I figured out, okay, the race was gonna be X about a laps. So I figured out how many laps I needed to run on softs or how many laps I could run on softs and then back it up from there. So I couldn't pit any time before lap 10. Because if I pitted before lap 10, my so I would have to have maybe my race softs way too much. Yeah. So I had to make make these laps. I, mean, I can you can make race hards last longer than you can make race softs last. Yeah, because they take quite a bit of abuse. Yep. Okay, there's the other guys in the pits. Yep. There's everybody. Yeah. Warden is staying out though. Ooh, Warden. Uh, he wanted that five points for leading the lap. That's what he yeah. wanted. No, he doesn't get the points. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my race strategy of the night was I knew that I wouldn't finish very high in uh, qualifying. So I'd be toward the back of the pack. Right. Because I just, I just don't qualify all that great usually. So I figured, so well, since I'm going to be in the back anyway, why not qualify with race hards and start with race hards? Yep. You know, because I'm going to be in the back anyway, and that's what I did. Right. So, can you go up to Warden real quick? I want to see what his tires are at. Because if he's on softs, he is on softs, and oh, wow, he's... he was doing some great tire management. Yep. But the question is, is he going to lose any time? It'll be interesting to see where he comes out of the pits. Because yeah. uh, he definitely won't be pitting with anybody else. He'll be pitting by himself, so he won't have any of the uh, slow ups because the rest of the field are all on race hards at this point. Tap out's the first guy on race softs, or that has moved to race hards. 
So there was only six guys, five guys on race hard. No, six. Desert Penguin is also on race hards. Wow, Warden didn't pit again. He's trying to one stop. Wow. Well, we're all doing one stop, but I'm surprised he's. Uh... Oh, yeah. And it looks like Parcells. Yeah, he's going in. Yeah, he... and he's on race hards and he's going in. So that's going to be interesting. He's pitting really early to make the transition to uh, race hards. Race hards. That would be tough. Yeah, there's a lot of time left. Yep. So it's this point of the race where the field starts to get spread out uh, when you have the in-between pit cycles. Oops. God, Warden's got to be on twos by now. Yeah, he's on twos. Yep, twos and fives. And Lovick's going to come up all over him here. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if he uh, gets to the pits before Vovic. Vovic is in 5-6 with his race hards, so he's starting to feel a little. Yeah, yeah, and he should be pitting in the next, uh, probably next lap. Yeah. Wow, look at the, the time gains just on the, on the different tires. There goes Warden, okay. Yeah. Now, the advantage is that he's going to be able to make those race hards last a little bit longer. It'll just be interesting to see where he falls out when the pit cycle is complete. Good word. One. One and four. That's where he was at when he went in. This was one of the rare occasions in the first two races. Like I said, I was behind Z, it seemed like all night um, in the first two races, and I was able to to get around him. And I was he was starting to put some pressure on me. He was a little bit easier on his tires than I were, and uh, he started putting some pressure on me. And I thought for sure he was going to get me a couple times. Yeah, he's been. But you been can concentrating tell. a lot on his driving. Yep. Yeah, he's. But you can see the line that he was taking. He was going wide and then cutting it in uh, nice and tight. And he was gaining some time on, uh, on me in that particular corner all night long. So, like I said, it took me a while to figure that one out. But And he also does it on the last corner. It seemed to have helped him quite a bit. But Vovic has already checked out to a good uh, three and a half second lead at this point. <laughs> yeah. But, but we all have... All of us in the top four still have to pit. So it'll be interesting that I believe I dart in this time and yeah, Z follows me. Fine. Vovic does stay out one more lap though. So this will be a good, interesting uh, situation to see what the pit dif difference was. Going into it, I was three and a half seconds behind him. It'll be interesting to see uh, once he pits how much time he lost by staying out one more lap. The other interesting thing here is tap out is on his race um, softs now, if I'm not mistaken. No, he's on race hards. Yeah, That's right. He's on softs. Yep. So it looks like Vovic does retain the lead. Oh, no, that's right. He hasn't pitted yet, so he no, still has he some pitted yet. Yep. He's got a pit. Yep. And as you can tell, it's starting to get a little, looking at the map, it's starting to get a little bit tight as uh, drivers are starting to make their pits. Looks like Centaurs didn't make a pit stop either, so the top two drivers still have to come in for their uh, mandatory tire change. I see Grandpa's now gotten his hands full with uh, Double Pass and KG. KG is starting to, was making a move this race too. 
The warden should be pushing hard here because he's got fresh ones. Yep. Yep, Ovik pitted that time. However, Centaurs is still staying out. Wow. But he was on race hard, so depending upon how hard he was pushing, um, yeah, but it he's could make be it. about out of fuel, too, doesn't he? Oops. No, I don't think so. I think his fuel would be fine. Mm. He's uh, should be first. Yeah, I know. Let's keep... Oh. There we go. So, yo, yeah, he is running low on fuel. Yeah, I figured. Oh, is he even going to make it on fuel? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. Oh, this ought to be interesting. I've never really thought about the fuel issue before because usually I'm pitting at the 15 minute mark. So, Ooh, look at oh, and there's his tires. Oh, yeah, his tires. Oh, ouch. That hurt. He should yep. have come in one, one lap earlier. Yeah. yeah. So, tap us out front. And... Yep. And Vovic is in ninth place. And it looks like he's about uh, about 13 seconds at this point back. And I gained about two seconds on on Vovic during that pit stop. So he went in at three and a half, and I'm only two and a half back from him. But he does have one lap fresher tires, and in this race, those fresher tires can definitely make a difference. Mm. You got some pressure on old grandpa. <laughs> he got some fast drivers. Oh, uh, he's got some fast drivers. Right yes, he Orton, does. Orton's on fresh tires. Vic. Yeah. They all, they all got better oh, tires than he does, I bet. Looks like Vic is looking. No. like Warden is looking to the inside. Vic's oh, but there. Vic's going to make right that there. outside line hold to set up for the next corner. Nice pass. Oh, Vic and KG trading paint a little bit. Mm -hmm. well, Vic, Vic's on brand new tires. Brand new soft tires yeah. like that. <laughs> I mean, look at the difference. I mean, I was able to close it. Uh, just because of being on the soft tires. Oh, look at him run that. Do you see yep. him running that inside bumper? Yep. He hooked it and it just kind of pulled <laughs> him right around. Oh, uh, now you've got, now he's look got Z this and mess. myself. It's, it's. Yeah, look at this mess. It's really tightening up there. Woo. 20 minutes into the race. And... Grandpa's doing, Grandpa's doing, <laughs> he's, he's hanging on to his ankles right now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, we had some contact there. Oh, that's that was the uh, the contact that took place. Um, and one of the dangers that we have with running the different compounds, um, I was actually making a pass on Warden at the time. And Warden, or who was it? KG had to check up a little bit because Grandpa was checking up. Warden had to check up even a little bit more. And it was actually kind of a, a chain reaction um, with me to the inside, Z to the inside, and the other guys. And unfortunately, KG was the one that took the brunt of that with a uh, five-second penalty. Oh, uh, one, yeah. Yeah, he got hit by Warden uh, inadvertently, which pushed him into uh, Grandpa's money. Yeah. And that's what caused him to get the... Uh, it wasn't the hit from Warden. It was when uh, KG went forward and bumped into Grandpa's money that he got hit with a five-second penalty. Uh, that five second, I got hit with one the other night. And they, they aren't no fun. No. And it was a total brake check thing, you know. I'm going, like, oh, whoa, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that, man. Yeah. And, and that's what happened to uh, to Warden on that one. Well, like, that's what happens oh, sometimes that? because you don't know what. I don't know who that was. I think that, I think that was. Yeah, because the different been tire been compounds, you know, yeah. you're not. You're not thinking about it, and all of a sudden they break really early. You're going like, whoa! <laughs> and you're not ready for it. You, just, you ain't got nowhere to go. You ain't got no way to uh, do anything defensively to, to miss yep. it. And... 
what's Parcells doing back there? Is he? Oh, that's right. He had a uh, an interesting corner at turn turn one a few laps ago. He decided he wanted to turn left instead of turn right at turn one. Still haven't quite figured that out, but it could have been his co-driver that was causing that problem. Could have been arguing with him. So. <laughs> yeah. They don't always get along. No, they don't. I still have Z all over my rear bumper, as always, this race. And at this point, I've pretty much resigned myself to a uh, to finishing fifth. Volvic's on double pass. Just yep. made a pass on double pass. <laughs> Wow, tap outs out way out there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, he was able to get through the field pretty well and make that pit stop without a whole lot of interference in the pit lane. Not to mention he's quick. Yeah. And I think Vovic just got held up a little bit trying to get through that. There goes double pass through there. Z once again still trying to see if the if I have a paint chip on my rear Ooh, bumper. Double oh, pass is going double in pass is going in the pits. Yeah. I wonder if that was a fuel miscalculation or... No, look at his tires. One and three. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Yeah, he had no choice. He could not go another lap. Or two laps. Yeah, pitting with... Doing a two-stop uh, two in this format is really hard. You can see he's already down to uh, ninth place and he's still in the pits. Vovic all over one space, but again, one space's tires are probably starting to fail on him. But look look at how Vovic has chewed his tires up trying yep. to make... He has just abused them things trying to make up yep. time. That was one space letting him know, not even contesting it, realizing that... Uh, I mean, you can see guys coming up behind you if, if they're gaining seconds at a time. Yeah. And you know you still have a couple more laps. Your best bet is to let the car go and just continue as best you can. Try not to lose too much ground. Yep. And I'm just starting to see one space getting closer. And I know at this point, I know he's on race hards. I know he's his tires are starting to go and I'm pushing He's starting like crazy. Yeah, his tires are starting to go and race hard too. Yep. Yeah. And we've got one. Difficult. This is. Sh yeah, and this should be the final lap. Yep. The final lap. And he's got. Looks like about a second and a half gap on me right now. It's really only going to leave me one spot to try and pass him, and that's. Uh, either coming out of the last corner or perhaps maybe even in the chicane. Yeah. It's tough to pass in that chicane. Yep. It's and then I looked at and then I looked around. at my fuel gauge and went, uh oh. At about this time I was I looked down and went, Oh, I may have not taken enough fuel. Ah, you got enough. <laughs> And Graham's putting the pressure on. Catching is one thing, passing is another thing yeah, completely. Putting the pressure on, though. You put the pressure on and make them think about where they're at and where you're going to be at. Oh, and it also looks like Vovic and uh, Tap Out have, have tightened up. Really? Let's see. Okay, there's you and him. Oh, my, my goodness. What happened to Tap Out? His tires. But What's his tires at? It. Oh, look at this. What a move. <laughs> what a move. Can it stick? He's still trying on the outside, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, I wasn't going to give him the inside. Oh, no. <laughs> but what's tap out? We may have to go back and look at tap out and uh, Vovic. Okay, we can do that. Because it was really close. Yeah, that should, that should do it. What's uh, our tap out tires? Was that three and five? Three and five, yeah. 
Oh, he's, oh, he's on, fighting he's outside. He's on fumes. Holy he's cow. He's on fumes. Look at He was trying to save gas. He, that's what he was that's doing. That's why, yes. <laughs> that's why he caught him. Where's Vic? Is he, did he lose gas or did he? He must have had a spin. Wow. Wow. That's, that's what he was clean. doing. I'm going, like, how did he catch him? <laughs> Uh, that's that what it was. That was a fun yeah, night. Yeah, it was a good race. Nice to see a battle for the uh, for the win on the last lap, and some other battles taking place. There's another type grouping right there. Parcells had an off night tonight. He had that strong finish last week with a, a couple of top five finishes, but this week. Uh, this track just did not uh, suit him for one reason or another. Um, Desert had to start, the, although he was on pole, uh, by rule he had to go drop to the back of the field. Um, and this was the only race that he was able to run and so it was a little bit rough. It's tough to jump in the car without any kind of laps and uh, be competitive right off the bat. And this was uh, the first race for RKZ. and. Looks like he's having a little bit of fun as he's trying to get to. I think he is, <laughs> yes. He's got to have some yeah. sort of fun. He's entertaining himself right now. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Something tells me he's a drifter and he's trying to drift in an all-wheel drive car. <laughs> Either that or he wants to make sure those tires are totally abused, which... which. Yeah, he's, he's doing a number on him. I think he's trying to make a pop. <laughs> But no, it was a good, uh, good night of racing. All three races were uh, were a lot of fun. Next week we head to Tokyo, uh, and that's actually the Tokyo R246 Reverse Track next week. So it'll be a uh, first time to get to see that track in either Tuesday night or Wednesday night in that configuration. Uh, doing some early testing, it was definitely different for a lot of the guys that have never even run that track before. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, how the quality of the um, the knockout qualifying times and the regular uh, qualifying times will be, uh, just because it's such a uh, variation that we just don't normally run. But it should be some good racing. I, I'm interested to see the stats on on the people who are fast that have to qualify compared to the people who have to work yep. to qualify. Because, you know, what they'll say, like, well, he only did it once. And this guy, oh, he did it seven times, you know? Yeah. That'll be interesting. With the new qual knockout qualifying procedure that we have for Tuesday nights, you can, it's done through a, uh, a qualifying lobby that's set up that runs from Tuesday night through Sunday night. So you can go in there, run your 15-minute qualifying session, record your time, and uh, at the end of the Sunday night, However many spots we have available, we'll, be, we'll take the fastest times. But the nice thing about it is you can run it as many times as you want. So if you're not happy with your time, give it another try. So it'll be interesting to see how many people do it. Like you said, how many people do it just once? How many people do it five, six, seven, eight times to get those times? Yeah, it depends on how driven they are. Or, That's right. <laughs> or, or how, or or how think, concerned. <laughs> yeah, or concerned, yes. That's right. Sometimes you in knockout qualifying, there is a little concern. <laughs> Um, do you have the standings to pull up? Sure we'll do. Take a look at, we'll take a look at the results after uh, week two of the season. Vovek is still uh, in second place. We have uh, myself and Z battling it out for second, which is uh, nice and close. Parcells, Warden. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said Vovek is still in second place. No, Vovek is still in lead, First, sorry. Yes. <laughs> I was looking at my name. I was looking at the points and saying his name, probably not a good combination. But yeah, with four wins and two second place finishes, he's easily out in front with 94 points, uh, followed by myself and Z uh, are in a nice little battle. Uh, the battle for fourth place between Parcells, Warden, Grandpa's Money, and Tap Out uh, has tightened up. And Tap Out, if you add 22 points that he lost from week one, that puts him at 77. He'd be right up there in the top three. So that week one, he's recovered from uh, nicely. Uh, followed by uh, Centaurs, Burnt, and Westroad. Uh, even missing with last week's race, he's still uh, is in the top 10. Based yeah, on his, I uh, see that. <laughs> That's brutal. Yep. 
<laughs> Sadly, the guys that are going to have to go through KOQ is Fallen, Desert Penguin, One Space, um, Cape, uh, K, uh, KG. There is some fast names right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, but that's the other guys that maybe not quite as fast are going to yep. have. They're going to have the numbers on how many times they tried the KOQ. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Euclid in the, in sixteenth. So we've had uh, 20 drivers compete so far out of the 24. So uh, hopefully we'll see uh, VS Fit, Hog and Hominy, and uh, uh, Blue Ninja Civic uh, come in. I think Want, uh, Ghost has actually uh, dropped from the series. Uh, I haven't been able to get in touch with him. So I believe he has had some uh, significant uh, issues with his, with his cars and won't be able to race the rest of the season. So we should see the other three hopefully next week. Cool. So, all right. I think we're pretty much wrapped it up, huh? Yep, I think so. All right. Well, thanks for everyone for tuning in and uh, watch for the other ones. Yep. Go Hawks. <laughs> <laughs>